What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to track button clicks or link clicks on your website. So right here is an actual button and it's saying start your free trial and here is a link that says start your free trial. I'm going to show you how to track both of those as Google Ads conversion so you can actually optimize for every time someone clicks a specific button on your website. Now the way this conversion is going to work is it's going to be based on the actual text of your button. So if you have buttons around your website that say something like start your free trial or add to cart or learn more or book an appointment, whatever it may be, as long as the text is the same across different links or buttons, you'll be able to track these as conversions no matter where people actually click them on your website. So let's get started. And the very first thing that we're going to need to do is after you've created your Google Ads account, you need a Google Tag Manager account and we need to install Google Tag Manager on our website. So you can see my Google Tag Manager account right here. And if I go to the admin section of Tag Manager, you'll also see this prompt after you create your Tag Manager account, you're going to see install Google Tag Manager. So right here, you're going to see how to install Google Tag Manager and we need to paste two pieces of code on our website. The first one we need to paste as high as possible underneath the opening head tag, the other one immediately after the opening body tag. So let's just start, we'll copy this code, and then we're gonna come back over to our website. And the way that I do this and install Google Tag Manager on a WordPress website is with the head, footer, and post injections plugin. So when you install and activate this plugin and you go to your website, under settings, you're going to see header and footer, and that's where you can find this plugin. And what you wanna do is first paste this tag underneath the opening head tag. So you can see I've already pasted it right here. This is where we need to paste the first piece of code. We need to come back over to our Google Tag Manager account, copy the second piece of code, and come back over to our website, paste that here, and paste it here for mobile, and check the mobile box. Then scroll down, click on Save, and once you've actually submitted your Google Tag Manager workspace, so after you add these pieces of code to your website, go back to Google Tag Manager, go to your workspace, and what you want to do next from your workspace is you want to submit it. So when you click on Submit, you can enter a version name and version description and click on Publish. So for right now, I've already done this, so I'm just gonna enter 123, 123, we'll click on publish, and now you have Google Tag Manager installed on your website. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to come over to our Google Ads account, and we're gonna go to Tools and Settings, and under Measurement, we're gonna go to Conversions. We need to create our conversion action for every time someone clicks on a button on our website that says Start Your Free Trial. So we're gonna click on New Conversion Action here, we're gonna click on Website, and it's gonna ask you to enter your website domain here and click on Scan, so we'll do that now. It should pull up a page that looks like this, and when you scroll down, you're gonna see create conversion actions manually using code. So we're going to add a conversion action manually. What you wanna do is a goal and action optimization. So we're gonna select a category here, and in this, for this one, what we're going to do is we could do something like a sign up. so every time someone signs up for our free trial, conversion action optimization options. Since this is one of my primary actions, I'm gonna choose a primary action used for bidding optimization, if this is a secondary KPI for you, it's not the main thing you're optimizing for in your Google Ads account, you can choose a secondary action not used for bidding optimization. So let's choose primary action here. We'll collapse this. Let's enter our conversion name. So let's just say start a, or we'll say start your free trial button. And then what you wanna do is assign a value to your conversion. So in my case, I'm just gonna enter every value as one. Every time someone signs up for a free trial, I'm just gonna count it as one conversion. It'll say $1, but it's basically just gonna count one conversion at a time. Now, let's just say if you know, for example, every time someone starts a free trial with your business and they go through this process, it's worth, let's just say, $25 for your business, you can set that as a value here. So depending on if you have an actual set value for every time someone takes this action, you can enter that here. In my case, I'm just gonna count every single conversion as one. And now as we scroll down here for counting conversions, you wanna count every conversion when it's a purchase. So if someone's purchasing something from you, you wanna count every conversion. If someone is going to be a lead or a sign up or any type of conversion like that, you wanna choose one because if one person clicks on the start your free trial button twice, it really should only count as one conversion unless they're setting up multiple accounts to start free trials with, which is probably unlikely. So in this case, I'm going to choose one. We just wanna count every time someone clicks that conversion as one, even if they click that button twice. So we'll keep scrolling down here, click through conversion window. You can actually extend or make it a shorter period of time for the maximum time after an ad interaction that you wanna count a conversion. 
for something with longer lead times, you may want to go all the way up to 90 days. So you can always make this longer or shorter depending on your preference. I generally make it longer if anything. Engage view conversion window and view through conversion window. Different ways to actually track how these conversions happen on your website, but you can always extend this just to give more credit to your Google Ads campaigns. Now attribution model, you want to use data driven that will give clicks different levels of credit depending on where they happen before a conversion. So data driven is the recommended attribution model and it's the one that I would use as well. So we're going to click on done here and now we've created our conversion goal. We have our conversion name. If you need to adjust any settings that we just went over, you can click on settings again. But what we want to do now is click on save and continue. So now that we have our conversion created, what you want to do is we want to use Google Tag Manager. So you have, your options are set up with a Google Tag, email instructions to your webmaster, or use Google Tag Manager. So what you're going to see here is going to say install the Google Ads conversion tracking tag. So let's come back over to our Google Tag Manager account. We're going to come back over to our workspace. Now we come back over to our Google Tag Manager account. Before we click on new tag, what we want to do is we want to go over here to variables. So on the left hand side, you're going to see variables. And when you click on variables, it's going to show you some of the different built in variables for your Google Tag Manager account. One of the things we're going to do here is we're going to click on configure and we're going to configure our built in variables and we're going to scroll down and I'm just going to choose click text right here. So under clicks, you're going to see click text. We're going to choose that we can click on the X and that will add that as a built in variable. Now you don't have to submit your workspace or anything like that. We can come right back over to our tags and what we can do is add a new tag clicking on new right here. Or if you're in the overview screen, go to new tag and click on add a new tag. Now, when you click on tag configuration, what you want to choose here is Google ads conversion tracking. So we're going to choose that tag. And now what we need to do is enter our conversion ID, our conversion label, and we need to actually name our tag. So let's name our tag first. We'll say free trial button Google ads conversion. Okay, so let's go back into tag configuration. And now what we need to do is go back to our Google ads account, copy our conversion ID right here, come over to Google tag manager and paste our conversion ID. Next, come right back over to Google ads, copy your conversion label, which is this set of letters and numbers at the very bottom over here. And then we are going to paste our conversion label right here. So now we have our Google ads conversion tracking tag, our conversion ID, our conversion label. So now what we're ready to do is set our trigger. So we want this conversion to trigger every time someone clicks on a button on our website that says start your free trial. If we go to the back end of this page, so we come to the back of this page, you're going to see start your free trial right here. And what I generally do is I will copy this text. So you want to make sure your text looks exactly the same everywhere across your website where you have any of these buttons or if you have any of these links. So one of these is an A tag, one of these is a button. I will show you why that matters in a minute. So let's come back over to Google Tag Manager and we are going to choose our trigger. So when we click on the plus sign right here, we're going to click on trigger configuration. And what you want to do now is we're going to go to clicks and we are going to go to all elements. We're going to do some clicks and we're going to do when the click text and we're going to say equals and paste our start your free trial text right there. So when the click text equals start your free trial, we want to count that as a conversion back into Google ads. Now, if you don't see click text right here, go to choose built in variable. And from the built-in variable page, you can find click text here as well. So we have this one enabled. So you want to make sure you enable these variables because it's much easier just to find them and use them when you are running your Google tag manager and creating Google ads conversions. So we are going to do, make sure we have it right. Click text equals start your free trial. There's other ways to actually track buttons as well. You can set up click IDs. There's click URL. So if people are clicking and going to a specific URL from your button. You can set it up that way as well. In this case, click text equals start your free trial. Let's just name our trigger. Okay, so start your free trial buttons and we are going to click on save. Okay, so now we have our tag configured here. We are missing our conversion linker tag, so we're gonna do that next. If we come back over to Google Ads, what it's going to tell you, install the Google Ads conversion tracking tag. That is what we just set up with our conversion ID, our conversion label, and our trigger. Now we need to make sure we add a conversion linker tag and configure it to fire on all of our web pages. So let's come back over to Google Tag Manager. We're going to click on save. So now what we've done is we enabled that built in variable. We create our Google Ads conversion tracking tag. And what we need to do next is go to add a new tag again. Under tag configuration, you're going to see conversion linker Google. If you don't see that search conversion linker. So just click on the search icon and search conversion linker. 
So we're gonna choose that here, enable linking on all page URLs. You can enable linking across domains if you have multiple domains where you're actually tracking conversions across different domains. We're not gonna be doing that for this video. And then all you need to do is trigger this on all pages. And then we can name our tag. So we'll do conversion linker, Google ads, and we'll click on save. Now what we need to do is submit our workspace. So let's click on submit. You can enter your version name and version description. Okay, and once you, once you enter the name and description, just click on publish. And now this will be the start of tracking conversions, but we still need to do one more step. So the next step that we need to take is we are going to go back to our website. So if we come over here to Google ads real quick, we can click on done. And now there's one more thing that we need to do to actually make sure that this is tracking properly. So we're gonna come back over to our website and what you need to do to your links now is within your links, if we come over here to the Google support page, I will put this link in the video description so you can easily find it. We need to add this on click event. So for the A tag, what you need to do is just copy this on click event right here and let's just come back over to our page and right here where our A tag is, we are going to paste this right here. So what it's saying is on click return G tag report conversion you can adjust your link right here and then make sure that that link matches here. So let's just say we do, okay, so this is what yours would look like. It would look something like this, but you're gonna have to change your URL here for where you're actually sending traffic after people click on this A tag. So it's A on click equals, you have quote return G tag underscore report underscore conversion. And then you have this opening parenthesis, single quote, and then your link right here, single quote, close parenthesis, semicolon quote. Then you have your href here. So you see right here, this is going to the same exact page. The class is just basically styling the actual link itself. And then what you need to do is click on update. So when we come over here, now every time someone clicks on this button, it will actually track it as a conversion and report this as a conversion back into your Google Ads account. Now in order to do it for an actual button tag, so coming over here, you can see the bottom one is an A tag. That one at the top is a button tag. So you're just gonna see opening button, close button. What we need to do is come back over here. It's slightly different for a button. And you're going to do button on click, copy this entire code right here. And we're just gonna take that right now, come back over to our page, and we are going to paste that right here. Make sure you put a space here. On click, return G tag underscore report underscore conversion. And then we have this here. The main difference, honestly, between the two is there's no semicolon here. So what we can do is just put our same URL here, copy this right here, put this one right here, and then click on update. And now this will actually track our conversions properly. So you need to make sure you also take that step to track button clicks on your website. So now if we come back over to our Google Ads account, you'll see we have our conversions here. If we scroll down, so we have your start your free trial button, so now this should start tracking every time someone clicks on one of those buttons on our website. So once we click on update here, we come back over to our page. Let's just say we have a start your free trial button or an A tag everywhere across our website. Maybe we put one at the very top bar here, start your free trial. Anytime someone clicks that button, that should track as a conversion back into your Google ads account, as long as it was from a Google ads campaign. Now, if it's traffic that's not from a Google Ads campaign, it's not gonna track that as a conversion. It has to come traffic from your Google Ads account. So hopefully that all makes sense. This is how to track different button clicks on your website, whether it's add to cart, start your free trial. You just need to adjust those settings when you're setting it up in Google Tag Manager. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.